Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use Git revert with conflict. So in previous video, I have posted how to use Git revert in your Git repository. And today we are going to see about how to use Git revert command with conflict. When you reverting a particular commit, if you are getting conflict, how to resolve all those conflict. So we are going to see that now. So for that, uh, <clears throat> so you can see I have only two files. When you do git log iPhone iPhone online, so you can see we have uh, some around five commit in the history. So I have two files. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit the readme file. I'm just going to make only two or three commits. So in this, I'm going to add a line on the second line. So that is one, two, three, four, five, and then. So now this is added git add dot git commit hyphen am line two one two three four five and then next i'm going to edit the same file and then in the same file i'm going to add something in the six seven eight nine ten ten and then going to add it add Commit. This is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then git push origin mail. So now you can see we just added two commit. So both commit on a single line. So when you do git log iphon iphon online. So the last two commit we made changes on the readme file, and also both changes on a single file. Now now what I'm going to do, I am just going to revert this a second commit from my uh, history, from my file. So when you do git revert, let me clear the screen. So git log iphone iphone online. And then git revert, I'm going to use the second commit ID. So you can see when you try to revert the second commit, it is saying that there is a conflict because the head commit contain the dependency of the uh, particular commit which you are going uh, trying to revert it. So that's why it is saying there is a conflict on your file. So what you have to do, you have to manually edit that file and make the changes. After you make all the changes, however you want, then you can... Uh, continue your revert action. So revert will, when you do reverting, the conflict will happen when you are trying to do something and which has a dependency of the head commits. In that case only you, you will get a conflict in your Git repository. So here we have a conflict on line two because both commit contain changes on the line two. Okay. So now I am going to manually edit that file. So let me go. It's on desktop. So this is that. Let me open it in VS Code. When you open this file, so you can uh okay. So you can see uh this is your current head, okay, and this is the current changes and this is what incoming changes. Okay. So when you accept the incoming changes, so you can see all will go because the second line will be reverted. But when you select the current change, what will happen? Only the current change will be accepted. So whatever we have in the current repository. Okay. So you can select any option, whatever you want. So let me accept the current change, save it. Now what I'm going, or if you want to do any changes, you can do it. Okay. So once you are done, go here. And now what you're going to do, you are going to run git revert iPhone iPhone continue. So why I am running uh, iPhone iPhone continue is that the revert is not completed. It is in the middle. So you can see here the revert action is not completed fully. So I am asking this repository to, to continue with the revert action. If you don't want to do revert, you can just run here about or skip. So which will stop the revert action. 
and it will keep your file however it was before the new attached. So now I am going to do it continue. Okay, so before that you have to add the changes. Hit add dot and then get your iPhone iPhone continue. So again it will ask you to give some message as like how it will ask for normal reverting. So you can add anything and then click push origin main. So once you pushed, you can check your uh, readme file. So you can see whatever you manually edited and changed, only those changes will be there on your file. Okay, so this is how you have to handle get to work with conflict. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.